Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, simplify this uh, radical expression by applying rationalizing the denominator. And basically what we're trying to do with rationalizing the denominator is we want to get our denominator uh, to our, our denominator to not be a radical number. Um, you can see here we have the square root of 3. So to undo that, um, basically what we're going to do is we are going to multiply by the radical of our denominator again. And remember, it's very important when rationalizing the denominator, we understand that um, whatever we, or whenever we're multiplying something in a fraction, we got to make sure whatever we multiply on the top, we multiply in the denominator. And the reason why we do that is to produce equivalent fractions. So now, as I multiply across 7 times the 7 times square root of 3, um, that is just going to produce, let me go back to my blue, 7 times square root of 3 is just going to be uh, 7 square root of 3. And then what I have here is square root of 3 times square root of 3. When you're multiplying radicals, that becomes square root of 3 times 3, right? Now remember, when we, got, when we went into our simplifying um, radical expressions, we know that we the square roots, we could pull out pairs. So the square root of 3 times 3 is just going to be 3. So my final answer is 7 times the square root of 3 all over 3. Because remember, the square root says what number multiplied by itself you know, gives us 3. Well, here, the square root, what number multiplied by itself gives us um, 3 times 3, which would be 9. So the answer would be 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you rationalize the denominator. Thanks.